Hello everyone, we are back. It is round two. I am going to try again um, for this Tiny Rogues game. I'm so excited. Um, last time we just basically went through the tutorial and I was kind of trash. I'm going to give it another try and see how it goes. Um, first of all, we've entered this world tier one. Um, so we were on Brave the Unknown, we've begun the adventure, and now we are here on World Tier 1. We've unlocked it. Um, the bonfire calls upon you to vanquish death and expand its dominion over this world. We want to defeat death. I guess that must be the big boss at the end. Unlocks a set of alternate floors to appear, bringing new events to discover and new foes to defeat with it. Sounds great. Okay, let's exit out of that. Um, we have a mastery system. That's exciting. After each run, you gain mastery experience depending on how many bosses you have defeated. Uh, for per level, you can allocate one perk. These perks are not required to succeed on your journey, but they surely help unlock and activate um, cinder modifiers to level up faster. Okay, that was the um, like difficulty scaling that we saw last time. Do I have to click on this? No. Okay, so I can choose... Oh gosh, this is pretty big. Hmm. Healing rewards are more common when at the brink of death. You have extra luck on floor one and two. Ooh, this one could be good. You start with an additional health and flask. Or doubles your health. Con I guess this is an or. Doubles your health flask consumption speed. What's this one over here? Floor 3 always contains an additional armory that offers two weapon choices. I think the heart, the health flask is good. I forgot that we could heal. I totally forgot that I had health flasks to use, so. I think this is our guy that we were using, the hero. I kind of want to see if I can win a run with him. Um, He's kind of like blah. He's just like really basic. Um... Let's let's give him one more try. Let's give him one more try. I feel like now that we're out of the tutorial, we have a better chance of like actually doing something. So, you know, we'll give it a try. All right. Um, let's check out our weapons. We have an apprentice wand, a wooden sword, and the bow. Which one has the most damage? You know, I want to try something like different than the bow because I don't feel like it was working for me so let's try the wooden sword oh I'm so confused about how this works what okay you know what can we switch these oh we can switch them Ooh, I think I like the sword not gonna lie I think I'm liking the sword okay so if we do sword, then I think that's going to be strength. So we're going to build strength and see how it goes. Wow, these early floors are so easy. It really did not prepare me for, like, what was coming next. Let's get some bombs since we don't have any. They seem important. Since we were able to bomb stuff and get some really cool dice that I still don't know what they're for. Wow, I don't know how I didn't die there. Holy touched me. Okay, and this one... I like that we have a little knockback. That is very nice. Um... Three dexterity, though. I mean, we could take it... We could take the dexterity because it's gonna give us our increased attack speed, which is good. So we may as well get it. I mean, it's like there's other things that you know, scaling up these stats does. So that could be good. I feel like three dexterity early on seems big. We'll get a beef. Oh, it's a bounty. Oh, Lord. It seems you've been cursed. Curse can have a variety of negative effects and is basically the opposite of luck. The more stacks of curse you have, the more cursed your existence will feel. It also grants cursed hit chance. They roll twice for critical hits and have to succeed the roll twice to crit. Oof, okay. Additionally, Curse can also downgrade room rewards, spawn invading reapers, increase shop prices, and much more. Okay, that sounds bad. Yeah, no. Oh, God, no. Oh, my God, how did I not get hit by that? 
Oh, jeez. Okay. I'm terrified of this thing. That was so scary. I didn't think I was going to make that. Whew. Okay. Um... We could... Re we could heal right now and then take the flask refill. I think that's a smart choice. But you tell me if you think it is or not. Um, we don't have any keys and we don't have any money, but keys are for treasure. So I think I'll take a key. I feel like my damage is not bad. This something is really fast. My damage is not bad, but my aiming is terrible. <laughs> Okay, we have a key. Let's beef. Let's beef with some monsters. Oh gosh. I kind of like these pink slime jellies because they do jump, but they're not hard to like see where they're going. Okay. Unlike these spiders. Yeah, the spiders are a problem. Okay. Um. I think we want the gold. I think we want the gold. Because we have some keys, we have some bombs. I think it's gold time. Here we go. Um, interesting. A guaranteed uncommon item. That's got to be ready, better than common. So we're going to fight the spider boss again. And hope for the best this time. Oh, I'm so scared. Okay, she's going to land somewhere here. Then aim at me. Come on. Okay, land here. Oh no, she got me. She got me, that's fair. Oh no. No. Yes, I'm going to feed you to my children. Oh my god, okay, I'm one away. Can I heal? No. Okay, okay, okay. That was bad. That was really bad. The hero is no good. I'm going to just say hero is no bueno. Um, we're going to try one more little run with a different character. Maybe I can find someone better. How about the knight? A proud knight in plate armor who trained all his life to become a master of all weapons. Um, your points of block are refreshed before entering a boss fight. You know what? That sounds great. Let's give it a try. We'll see if we can... Um, we'll see if we can do any better than with the hero. I like his hat. Um, let's take a look real quick what we have. Okay. He has terrible scaling. His sword is trash. But I think we go for the, this. Oh gosh. I think like once you know how the enemies move, it must help a lot. I just need to like not panic. Um, I'm gonna go here because I don't want curse. Because I'm terrible at the game already. And I don't want my damage to be like less than it has to be. I feel like the boar is a new enemy. Um, a shrine grants a random blessing. Let's do that because that's new. Basically, if I see a new thing, because I'm still learning the game, I want to do all the new stuff. Um, also, I noticed that I blocked that hit with my sword, which is really cool. Um, blessing Shrine grants a random consumable blessing. Okay. We get a mobility blessing. So we get 25% increased stamina recovery speed and just increased stamina. Okay, for one floor. Okay, not gonna lie, that seems not so great. I mean, it's just like a little better on stamina on the next floor. Oh my god, what is that? That was scary. Okay, there we go. Um, let's take some gold. Maybe the key is better, maybe not. You let me know. Um, I'm not particularly like a min-maxing type of player. I'm like an experience everything kind of player. So, if you're wondering why I make some of the choices that I make, it might be because I just want to see what's there. We gotta experiment. We're new. Everything is brand new. Everything is exciting. Um, what should we do here? Usually in these games, things are pretty expensive in the shops. 
So, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Hmm. Guess I'll take the gold. I don't. I probably can't. I don't know. Maybe I could afford stuff in the shop. Maybe I should have taken the chance. I just said I was gonna do like all the new stuff, and then I didn't. Don't worry about it. Um. I think we'll get a level up if we get this vegetable or fruit, whatever it is. It's pear time. There we go. We get a level up. Let's see what trait we get. Swagger. On the tally of five primary attacks, your next primary attack is a guaranteed crit. That's nice. Um, shield bash. On the tally of five melee attacks, while wearing a shield. Oh, I don't have a shield. So on combat start, gain full attacks, full stacks of battle rush. It gives you 3% damage. Up to 10 stacks. So isn't this really good? Yeah, I think this one is going to give us like 30%. 30% extra damage at the beginning, maybe? I don't know. Uh, let's avoid the curse. Nothing can stop me. Okay, we're fighting a Minotaur. I'm terrified. Don't dash unnecessarily is what I'm learning in this game. Dashing is actually bad in this game. You gotta just be careful. Okay, stand still, you make me angry. Um, I'm worried. Okay, 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 get him on this way. Got him. terrifying oh my gosh okay i did it um i have defeated all world floor one bosses so um floor one bosses it said okay uh let's see what we have we have some boots we get full stacks of speed boost on combat start which is nice okay uh set helmet Grants 25% chance for sword attacks to repeat. We have a sword. That could be good. Um, if we have two of the set, well, with a fencing suit, we... This is so confusing. Hits with repeated attacks from swords trigger on your kill... Trigger your on-kill effects. Uh, it's too much. I can't think. Um, we already have Hella Block for some reason, so I don't think we need that. Yeah, I think we're good on this one. Maybe we just take the fencing, because we have a sword. Let's take this. Oh, wait, we have a helmet. Hold. Oh, this is giving us an armor. I think it's, well, do we have shoes? We don't have shoes. Okay, we'll take the shoes, because we don't have shoes. I feel like the helmet might have been better, but since we don't have shoes, we'll take the shoes. You know? All right, we made it farther than the last one already. This is good. This is really good. And we are at, like, full right there, so... I mean, let's attune. I don't think we had anything to attune. What do we want? We got some dice last time, but I don't know why. Um... Yeah, let's take some dice. Let's see. Oh, this room is kind of crazy. Why did the difficulty go up so high? Oh, they got me. Oh, shoot. Okay. Oh, no. Okay, I... Biffed that so hard. Okay, let's just do that. Um... Let's take some bombs, since we don't have any bombs. I gotta be care more careful. Okay, okay. When you don't panic, this game is so much easier. I wasn't looking. It also helps when you, like, watch what's coming to you. Oh my god. Um, okay, let's see if we can find a good sword. This is not a sword. This is a knife. And these are eggs. Okay. I love the idea of hitting people with eggs, but 
we can't take them because, well, what are our stats like? We have six dexterity. Dexterity is actually our highest one, so something that scales with dex might actually be good. But this is E for dex, so maybe no. Um, we could take this one, the hunting knife. I mean, it's very short range. Let's just take it and see. Um, let's equip it. I mean, it's not... Let's see how it goes. Um, what is booze? Let's find out what booze does. I'm not sure if this is better. It does not seem to be better. Okay, and now with the knife... I don't know, maybe it's the same. I gotta learn to turn that off. Um, we get a whiskey on consumption. We get increased attack speed, and I wonder what tipsiness does. What does tipsiness do? Does tipsiness do anything? Drops loot when shattered. We want, what does intelligence do? Critical hit chance? Okay, let's get the intelligence. Ooh, scary. Got him. Okay, I'm really learning- oh shoot, no. Okay, time to heal. I'm really learning that in this game it's important not to panic. Because I keep panicking and dashing and that gets me into trouble. Okay, let's go to the shop. We have keys for 13 gold. Two keys. We have an axe. Which doesn't seem that great. We have something to dispel curse. And a rusty revolver. Which is a companion. It summons a shrimp companion. We get thrusting damage. Um, it's 20 gold. I have 20 gold. Let's get a friend. Heck yeah. E to buy. Okay, done. Now I have no money, so I guess we don't go to the tavern. Sorry, I just uh, had to stop and pause there to cough. Oh my gosh. Um, okay, let's get a potion. I mean, I think the knife is fine. Don't panic. Oof, did you see me not panic right there? I hope you're all proud. Um, okay, don't panic. Um, an Inferno Potion gives us some fire damage. Sure, let's do it. Um, do you see a shrimp? I don't see a shrimp. Where's my shrimp? Right click to summon. Oh my god, I have a shrimp. A shrimpy boy. And now I have a fire. I could make, um... Build shrimp if I wanted to. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Need to be careful. Okay, um, that seemed to go really good. Guaranteed boots. Do we have boots? We have some shoes. This is for rerolls. Could we rerolls upcoming room rewards? And allows you to exchange a trait with a rent. Is this what I think it is? Yeah. Nice. A guaranteed ranged weapon. I don't think we want a ranged weapon. Reward choices include at least... Let's try this. I, I guess the set item should be good. Our block is recharged. We got a block. <gasps> we got a block back. Okay. Need to be really careful. Oh, did I ever tell you guys I'm so bad at bullet hells? I might have misunder I might have underestimated you for a little bit. Good for you. I think we're doing like really, really good damage due to oh. Oh. Okay. I thought we were doing really good damage due to that potion, actually. I really liked our shrimpy companion. Rest in pieces, shrimpy boy. And little knight. Alright, I think we're gonna um call it here for today. Thank you so much for watching. Um hope you'll stick around to watch me on my incremental adventures in this roguelike game. 
Um, the incremental part is where I incrementally get better and better um, or incrementally show you what the game content is all about. So um, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, I hope you have a great day. Um, leave a like or a subscribe if you want to get updated with this series. And if you didn't like it, no problems. Thank you for watching whatever part you watched anyways. All right, have a great day, everybody. Bye.